All right, so I got the Lawrence Elite 5 Chirp out here again. I've been playing around with these frequencies in the deeper water to see if I can get a better uh, image. And uh, best one I found is actually the Medium Chirp. I haven't really used that before. I've been on the high for the most part, but i um, been playing around with the Medium. And that's marking my lure uh, pretty well. It's, it's just a hair jig I'm using today, so they don't really show up all that great. But uh, this Medium Chirp has been working very well in this, you know, been about 60 to 90 feet. This is uh, in 78 right now. I got my range on um, 80 medium chirp. Ping is on uh, fastest. S uh, noise rejection on low. I had some other guys around me. I'm going to turn that to off now, see if that makes any difference. Got my amplitude scope on down here. And in sonar here, I have it set to manual mode and fresh water. And that's the image I'm getting. So it's it's not too bad. My sensitivity here, 75, and um, color line there is at 64. And it is quite sensitive um, at times, depending on where the uh, the currents are taking it down there. But I do have a um, treble hook um, trailer hook on here. And I'm actually getting two returns at my lure at some times, depending on how it is sitting in the cone angle. So it's very good that way. So in this, um, you know, anything over about 50 feet, you may want to try the medium chirp because the high chirp hasn't been working all that well. There's one other frequency here, medium high, which I actually really like because you can set it up uh, quite well to mark bottom in more detail and mark your lure closer to bottom the one downside to the medium is at about a foot away from the bottom uh, for whatever reason i lose my lure so i have to um i can actually let my lure drop down about uh, another foot from the time it disappears on the screen so that's kind of the one downside to the medium um, today especially because the fish are hugging the bottom like they're pretty much glued to it now if you want to adjust in uh, this view it'll ask you which one do you want to do so my highs on the left I'm going to adjust that because I'm not picking up my lure all that well in high so as I increase my sensitivity there you can see I'm picking it up and you can actually see the two lines there. That second line is my trailer hook. So the second and the, the main one there. So that's the type of detail you'll get with the chirp. One update to my last video, I've done um, the 4.0 upgrade. The previous videos I've done have been on the 2.0, um, and I really haven't noticed any differences whatsoever. So um, sonar-wise, that really hasn't changed anything um, on the, the you know practical side of it. They may have made some changes. Um, one thing that looks like they have done is added an amplitude scope here and here. So that definitely helps out when you're using the split screen. Um, I, th I think that was missing. I can't remember if it was just on the split zoom or if it was on both of those screens. Yeah, they haven't added it here yet. This is where it'd be really nice if they could add that in as well. So hopefully they'll uh, add the amplitude scope on the zoomed in side as well.